When I was at the Formula SAE competition a couple years ago, we were in the design finals, which is this prestigious group of a couple teams that go get further questions at the end of the design competition. The judges would walk up to my team and ask, you know, a tall male who the vehicle dynamics lead was. And all of the men on my team would point to me. That shocked every single one of those judges. When I was little, working with my hands meant sewing or making jewelry or drawing. I was really into art. My mom was sort of like a handyman person around the house. She painted our rooms. When electrical stuff broke, she rewired that. She taught me a lot about how to do like household plumbing. Um, not really glorious stuff, but it saved me a lot. <laughs> she taught me how to use a table saw and I broke all of her drill bits. She had a lot of tools and has since given me those tools, and that's really a treat. She has a nice socket set that's mine now. It didn't really seem strange that my mom was more of the handy woman. I love being in cars and being around cars because I am so passionate. Um, I don't think I could do any other job. Um, uh, there's nothing that would keep me from working on cars. A lot of my job involves fixing broken cars. So if a car is not working for some reason, I go to that car and I start from the top and I figure out what's wrong. I've done some modeling in computer simulation. I've done tests, I've done data analysis. I've done calibration where you go out and sort of adjust numbers in a computer until the car feels good. I've done swaps of components. You need people to be able to do a lot of different jobs. You get to really dig into the relationship between what a person perceives and what they enjoy and find exciting about a car and what that means mathematically and what that means in um, the shape of a curve that you calibrate or in the rate of a certain bushing on the suspension. If it doesn't seem like college is the right path for you, definitely look into a trade school um, or get a certificate at a junior college. Um, that's a phenomenal way to get into automotive. You get there faster. There's a lot of skills that you need that you can only get from working on cars. A lot of our prototype technicians here have these sort of credentials. Most of them have either certificates or mechanics training, and then they've just got a bunch of experience in automotive. That's somebody who does component swaps, troubleshoots cars, makes some components for tests on a car, provides inputs about you know, why a car is behaving a certain way. Pay close attention in high school math and physics because it does form the foundation for the rest of what you'll learn in engineering. And if you're struggling with it, don't be afraid to reach out for help. Play around with old cars if you can. Um, or just any cars in general, try to get your hands on something. When I was in high school, I basically begged all of my friends and family to let me change the oil in their cars. Um, and they did, and I learned a lot. There's a culture that exists in automotive now, and that culture is going to need to change if we want to bring more women in and retain those women. I think it'll get there eventually, um, but it goes slowly and it takes a lot of work, both on the side of the women who are entering into the field and on the side of the men who are already there. Be patient and be persistent. Um, keep establishing yourself and, and keep trying to say intelligent things and eventually people will come around. <laughs>